just need to realize how the bonds of friendship have changed you. The bonds of friendship. The dark hour will soon vanish from this world. You will truly be liberated from its dominion. The legacy of life will continue. Congratulations. You have the miracle you sought. May we meet again someday. Now we're... How did we end up back... Hey! Look over there! Whoa, uh, What's up with Tartarus? Happening. Everything's going back to normal. Our job is done. Wait, is that? This isn't the time to be crying. You're crying too, Sonata-san. Finally, the team's all here. What? Leader. Huh? I'm... Oh no, they won't stop. What's wrong with me? Of course, you never miss a day of school, huh? I'm impressed. Man, this year really flew by. We're practically third years now. Only one more year of high school. You think there's anything interesting on the horizon? Huh, you think so? Looking at the current third years? I'm not really sure. Pretty much all they do is freaking study. It doesn't look like fun to me. Is that what we're gonna turn into next year? Oh, man, why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? <sighs> hey, is that girl looking at us? Dude, she's pretty cute! How come I never noticed her before? What are you talking about? She lives in the same dorm as us. Wait, she does? Uh, what's her name then? I don't know. Then you barely know more than me. Anyway, it's always crazy in the dorms this time of year. With so many people coming and going. Oh yeah, did you hear? Sonata Senpai is moving out. You know him, right? He's the captain of the boxing team. Yeah, not that I really talked to him. And obviously, all the graduates are leaving. Kirijo Senpai is getting ready to move too. Kirijo. Oh, the student council president. She's in our dorm too, huh? Man, what's up with that girl? Hey there! Are you looking at us? Is something wrong? Oh, no. It's nothing. She looked like she had something on her mind, huh? Wait, you think she might be interested in one of us? <laughs> Not a chance. Man, you really know how to hit a guy where it hurts. By the way, Yucatan. Yeah, never mind. Uh, forget it. What? Just say it. Now it's gonna bother me. 
Well, uh, do you remember how we became friends? I mean, don't take it the wrong way. I was just wondering. Well, it's not like we're best friends or anything. But I guess it just kind of happened. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. You know what's weird, though? I think I get what you mean. I can't really explain it, but something just feels off. Now that I think about it, that girl... Oh, crap! Andre, Laurent, Andre, Laurent, Jean, Gero. <sighs> oh, too long. A samurai's name should be simple and short. Oh, you. This letter was sent to the school. It looks like it's addressed to one of our students. Wait, is this actually for you? The writing's so shaky, I didn't recognize your name. It's from an Andre... something. I don't recall the student with such a foreign name. The only one that comes to mind is... Bebe. Hello. It is me, Bebe. in your language is difficult, so forgive me if it is hard to read. I learned a lot in Japan, but I still need lots of help. I write this with a dictionary. I showed Uncle the kimono. He said many wonderful things about it. He said Japan is a great country. I was thrilled to hear it. So, I tell uncles that I want to go back to Japan. I tell him over and over. Finally, he says, okay. But I decided not to go back. I am sorry. I said I would come back, but it was a lie. I didn't know. My aunt was not the only one who helped me study abroad. Uncle, relatives, neighbors, so many people helped me. They all wanted me to go back. They said they would help pay for it. But Uncle is sad after he lost my aunt. While Uncle grieves, I would not be able to enjoy myself in Japan. I cannot take everyone's money for my own fun. Besides, I can learn about Japan here in France too. And so, in France I will stay. Someday I will return to Japan on my own without anyone's help. reflected on how fun it was to make clothes with you. So I enrolled in fashion school. 
I made some clothes for the school contest. And I won first prize. I have come up with a name for my winning design. A very wonderful name, I think. It is a name that means a lot to me. Japan and France, you and me, all so far apart. But I am always here for you. No amount of distance will ever change that. Every day was so much fun. More fun than I have ever had. I hope I get to see you again, someday. To my precious friend, Bebe. Going home now? Okay, then I am too. At least I want to, but I've actually got somewhere to be today. I'll tell you, but don't laugh, okay? I'm going to the public library. Because, like, there weren't any books about sports physiology at the school library. I want to try studying stuff like that now. Hmm. But since we've already bumped into each other, <laughs> want to chat for a little longer? At least until we reach the entrance. I'm gonna head off. Yep, I've been doing it every day. <laughs> Aren't I awesome? Hey, remember what I told you before about finally finding my dream? I never had anything to work towards until now, so I'll admit I'd been slacking off. Mm, to be honest, my grades really suck. It's been tough getting them back up. Like, I have no idea what chemistry and all that stuff is about. Seriously, it's like a foreign language. So that's why I really gotta buck up. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I really just wanna sit back and enjoy life. But I gotta be patient. That's what I have to keep telling myself. I'm gonna take my dreams into my own hands. And then I'm gonna do some more studying and then get a job. But after that, we should totally hang out again. <laughs> we can invite everyone from the track team too. Ooh, how about we have a drinking party, since we'll all be adults by then? Um, well, anyway, I'll be focusing only on my studies for now, so don't try to tempt me with anything. Today, I'm gonna work on three subjects at once. Impressive, right? Whoops, I better get going. I still need to buy dinner. Well, see ya. Good timing, man. There's something I wanted to talk to you about. I went back to the hospital to get a checkup on my knee. The results are in. <laughs> it's 100% healed. They said I can run all I want now. Dude, I was so happy. I almost broke the doctor's back. I hugged him so hard. But thinking about it now, how would things have gone if I'd kept running through the pain? I was pushing too hard, only thinking about myself. I got pissed off when things didn't go my way. So I threw out the advice I got and shot my knee to hell. Man, I was such a moron. At least I can see it now. I kept saying it was all for my nephew, but in the end, it was just about my own damn pride. I got you, everyone on the team, and my parents all worried about me. I didn't even stop to notice. I was a real selfish brat. <laughs> Thanks, man. Well, it took me this long, but at least I finally snapped out of it. Thanks, man. It's because of you I'm standing here on two feet. I swear, things will be different from here on out. I want to repay you all for what you've done for me. No more stubborn pride. I'm gonna listen to what others have to say. Even when it's not what I want to hear. Well, that's about it. I just wanted you to be the one I break the news to first. I'll run around to the faculty office and club room later to let everyone else know. Have a good one. Oh, it's you. You don't look so good. Is the weather getting to you? It's been getting warmer. It's already March. Hmm. There's something I wanted to tell you. Well, 
We're in the same grade, so I'm sure we'll have plenty of chances to talk. Even so, I wanted to say this while we're both still on the student council. I'm going to quit. Well, this semester is just about wrapping up. All this means is I'm not going to apply next year. That cigarette business gave me a lot to think about. This may sound odd, but do you think this country is headed in the right direction? I see. Well, I feel differently. You're an optimistic man, so maybe society looks different through your eyes. Up until January, there was a sinister cult growing in popularity. A society without a future. For many people out there, that's the reality. I was thinking how we could change that, and what it would take to change society. My answer to that used to be, reform by those in power. I thought that was the only way. But starting a revolution just because you have the power to do so creates more problems. That's what the cigarette incident taught me. I realized how naive I had been. And it helped me arrive at a different answer. I think the best thing for society is education. Every last individual that makes up our society should have a right to education of heart and mind. I really believe that's what we need the most. And so, I'm thinking of becoming a teacher. A society is shaped by its people. Every person I help grow helps society grow by extension. You're not going to laugh and tell me I'm dreaming? I see. Well, I plan to do my best. <laughs> That's all I wanted to tell you. That, and to say thanks. This was all because of you, so thank you. Aren't you the boy who used to talk to the monk upstairs? He actually called here trying to reach you. Seems like he was wondering how you were doing. Come to think of it, I think he left a message for you. What was it he said again? Hey, hey, hey don't give me that look. Just hang on a sec. Ah, found it. Here you go. I actually wrote it all down. Didn't think I had it in me, did you? Let's see. Oh, man, the handwriting is awful. <laughs> who the hell wrote this? I found my wife and son. My son's still a good-for-nothing punk. My wife is frigid as usual. She's like an old witch. What do you want? I'm on the phone! Hey, don't write this down, right? Lots happened, but I apologized a thousand times, and I worked to make things right. I guess you could say we fell in love all over again. I realized, instead of holding on to my pride, I needed to just suck it up and apologize. It's all thanks to you. 
Well, you take care, kid. If it's meant to be, we'll see each other again. That's the gist of it. I'm pretty sure I got everything he said. Oh, and don't bother asking for a number. He didn't say. But like he said, you'll see him again if it's meant to be. Don't they say, like, fate lies in God's hands or something? Oh, wait, that'd be Buddha for the monk, huh? Anyways, that's that. If fate does bring you two back together, why don't you come party over here again? It's you, right? I'm... Maiko's father, if you remember. Do you have a minute to talk? I've been dwelling a little on what happened. Perfect. Uh, if you don't mind, let's take a walk down to the takoyaki stand. I'll buy you some. My treat. The food there sure is good. But you knew that already, didn't you? When I see this place, I remember all the times I'd come here with Maiko. She came here when she ran away from home, too. She really loved the takoyaki. She's a good girl. Wouldn't you agree? She's so good that I wonder if she's really my own child sometimes. She actually sent me a letter recently. It's chock full of details about her new life. She said she's made a lot of friends. Let's see. She's in charge of the rabbits at her new school and has had to get up early to clean the cages. They scolded her for forgetting her PE uniform. She forgot her homework and had to copy her friends. I guess she can be a bit absent-minded. I never knew that about her. Oh, and she did so well on her recorder test that she was asked to perform in front of everyone. Then she went on to talk about how she plays at the park by the school with her friends every day. Her mother's doing well, too. They're having a lot of fun together. <sighs> having fun. Must be nice. Nowadays, I just come home to an empty house. The rooms feel so big without those two around. I wonder if she feels the same way. Living in a home with no father in it. Uh, we put her through so much because of our own problems. I feel terrible about it. By the way, I've actually got a bone to pick with you, too. Maiko must have really liked you, huh? She wrote all about it. I can't wait to grow up. That's why I'm drinking lots of milk. I'm going to marry him someday. <sighs> what the hell is that about you, little punk? Y you were taking advantage of my little Maiko, weren't you? Maybe I haven't been the best dad, but I'm still her father, damn it! And I'm not letting a guy like you touch my daughter with a ten-foot pole! I'll never let you marry her! And don't you forget it! He had a hand in the hidden menu at Hagakure as well. Oh, yes. I have heard the same story. They say he tried a bite of some dish. Then he said it could use some fish flakes. So they put some in, and sure enough, it was delicious. Now it's an item on our hidden menu. I'm a big fan of it myself. I had him come up with some ideas for Wokatsu, too. Yes, he's the one. Sui Mitsukun put our coffee on the map, too. Sure, his appearance and behavior are... How should I say this? Eccentric? But he knows everything about food, and his palate is refined. He's in a league of his own among gourmands. There is not a restaurateur around here who doesn't know him. Is he that famous? So when you heard he was planning to leave to tour the country... I was shocked and disappointed, of course. But I'm glad to hear he's doing well for himself. I hear he's got a book coming out. It's very exciting. Even when he's far away, I can still feel him. Uh, wait, don't run that. <laughs> Are the rumors about a King Suimitsu statue being built in this shopping district true? <laughs> oh, yes. I can't wait. 
I'll be rubbing it every day for good luck. Oh, are you a student from the area? Do you mind if we get a few words from you? Are you familiar with the high school student known as the Gourmet King? Uniform. So he went to GeckoCon High then. Thanks for your time. I'd love a chance to meet him myself one day. Well, well, look who it is. It's been a while. You've grown so much since the last time I saw you. Now, now, dear. They don't grow that fast. What must have happened is that we shrank. Isn't that right? Oh, 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 is that how it is? Looks like you got one over on me. Say, you, you know our old shop here, uh, Bookworms? I'm thinking it's due for a makeover. Something fresh, avant-garde. I can't let GekuCon's new school building hog the spotlight. Ain't it? I'll hash out some plans with my dear and make this place even better. Speaking of the new school building, they've decided to replant the persimmon tree. It'll be moved to a special location on a hill overlooking the whole campus. Our dear boy will be able to watch over those students for many more years to come. I know the tree isn't actually our son, and yet this makes me feel so happy. Ever since my dear heard the news, she's turned into a leaky faucet. Come on, give me a smile. Go, 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 go. Please, dear. I think your dentures are falling out. Anyhow, we'll be supporting the GeckoCon students with renewed strength in our hearts. Looking at you again, you really did grow, didn't you? You've overcome great hardships, I can tell. Come back and visit us any time. We'd always love to see you. Hello there. Oh, excuse me. Are you... So it was you. Oh, excuse me. I'm Miss Kamiki, Akinari's mother. My son talked about you a lot. I was just thinking about him. If you have time, would you like to stay and talk for a while? That's wonderful. Please sit down. Today is a special day. What a coincidence seeing you today. It must be another one of God's whims. Today is my son's... Akinari's birthday. He'd be 20 if he was still alive. Only 19 years. It was too soon. He was almost an adult, but he never made it. Akinari had a genetic disease. I'm completely healthy, but him... The doctors detected it when he was born. They knew he wouldn't live to see adulthood every day. I worried whether he'd wake up the next morning. I blamed myself for what he inherited. But he said something to me near the end. I'm sorry to have brought so much pain into your life, Mother. I'm glad that I was born into this world. I'm glad to have been your son. Thank you for the life you've given me. He, he suffered so much, and yet he still said that to me. But Akinari brought me so much happiness, too. Feeling his warmth as I carried him in my arms after he was born. Those tiny hands. <laughs> that first smile. Hearing his breathing as he slept at night. Every day, I was so grateful he was alive. Every day, I found new joy in him. 
now. I'm so alone. And there's nothing I can do. But my boy gave me so much. I have to keep going. Looking straight ahead. That's how I want to live. I'll eat the finest foods. Visit the most exotic places. I'll do everything. Absolutely everything that Akinari couldn't. I'll have so many stories to tell him about the things I've done on that day. When we meet again on the other side. If I didn't have that to look forward to, I don't know how I could go on. That reminds me. When my son's condition worsened, he started writing a children's story. But when I was cleaning out his room, I never found his notebook. He said he wanted you to be the first one to see it when he was done. And then he laughed and said I would be second. <laughs> I suppose he wasn't able to finish the story. What? So, did you get to read the story? I... I see. So, you did. I'm so glad. That was my only regret. It was awful to think that he wasn't able to finish his project. Oh, you should hold on to his notebook. I'm sure that's what he would want to. I'll hear the story from him directly when I see him on the other side. Now I have one more thing to look forward to. I'm glad I could finally meet you. Thank you. Before I go, let this old woman give you one piece of advice. Take good care of the ones you hold dear. If you wait until their day comes, it's too late. Clinging to their cold bodies won't bring them back. Everyone who's born will die someday. Not just Akinari, or me, or even you. It's all the same. So before that happens, it doesn't take a grand gesture. You don't have to make a big production of it. But if you love someone, let them know it. We all go through life with the same struggles, the same heartbreak. We should all lift each other up with the same love and kindness as well. I'm sure you have something precious you can share with people too. Don't ever forget it. Dude, I heard the juiciest news just now. You want to hear it? Of course you do. Okay, here goes. This is just between you and me, okay? Get this. So, next month, I heard we have three fine-looking teachers coming in. After Emmy, uh, Miss Kano leaves, the faculty roster kind of loses its spark, you know? Miss Toriyumi has that weird secret. Miss Onishi is obsessed with medicine. And Miss Terauchi is like going to India or somewhere. I mean, come on, even our school nurse is a guy. Sure, guy nurses are out there, but we could do better than him. He's got some kind of anti-hooky agenda. Speak of the devil, you don't look so good. You need to go see that devil nurse? If that's the case, sorry dude, but you're on your own. 
I refuse to set foot in that so-called nurse's office. Oh, oh, and those new teachers are coming by today to check out the campus. I'm thinking about hanging around the faculty office to scope them out. Wanna come? Excellent choice, oh wise one. We got electives to choose next year, right? So we've got to make sure we choose the right one. If you catch my drift, hmm? Wait a minute, wasn't today... Oh, crap, sorry, man. I got to split before she gets here. Yeah, I know, but if I run into her, she just won't shut up. It's my little sis. She'll be coming here next month, so she's gonna swing by today to look around. But I am not gonna be her damn tour guide. I don't want to be seen leading her around by the hand everywhere. I wish I had an older sister instead. Well, anyway, I'm gonna jet. Later. different lately, Miss Toriyumi. You're looking more and more like a professional. Your lesson the other day really caught my eye. It seemed like you spent a lot of time preparing it. I've never seen you so passionate about teaching before. It's unparalleled. Unparalleled? Well, yes, I have been studying while making preparations lately. Things like how to best communicate the lessons I'm looking to teach. <laughs> I guess it does seem kind of out of the blue, huh? <sighs> the thing is, I've decided to stop wasting my time only looking at what's right in front of me. How wonderful! I'm impressed by your change of heart. What brought this on? Well, when I was just goofing off one weekend, I met someone. After that, I took a closer look at my life. That person... Wait. They were real, right? They had to be. Ah, yes, I understand. I myself once had a similar epiphany. Now that I think about it, I met my darling husband thanks to a destiny called fate. A uh, destiny called fate? Isn't that a bit redundant? Besides, you should be careful what you say to a single woman. <laughs> anyway, if you'll excuse me. Oh, uh, is everything okay? Do you need something? You don't look well. Uh, maybe you should go to the nurse's... Uh, wait, you dropped something. What? Huh? This phone wallpaper! Now, now, mister. No cell phones at school. Hmm? That screen. I read downward. Love you. My! What a charming confession of love! Did you make this? kid is talking about. La 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 la, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Uh, never mind that. What's going on? Why do you have this screen cap? Oh. oh, don't, don't tell me you got it online. The only ones who were on that server were... No, it couldn't be. No way. Are you kidding? No, no, no! Calm down, 
phone, Mr. Yumi. Help! Someone call a doctor! Uh, don't tell me. You're Tatsuya? I... Uh, I said all that? To you? I... 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 I quit this school. I'm leaving. I'm never coming back. Oh, I can't live with this. Just kill me now. Um, I... I'm Maya. It's me, damn it. You got a problem with that? <sighs> Why don't you say something? Jeez, idiot. <sighs> this is so embarrassing. <sighs> but there was one thing I wanted to say. If we ever met face to face. I, I was able to turn my life around thanks to you. So, um, thank you. <laughs> uh, wipe that smile off your face, or I'll wipe it off for you with my fists. Anyway, um, if you don't mind. If you don't <sighs> mind. Uh, m maybe we could have dinner? <laughs> Go to hell with this! I was just thinking about you. Uh, mm, can we go somewhere else? Thanks. Uh, you look like you're not feeling well. Sorry to bother you at a time like this, but I appreciate it. Uh, hey, sorry for calling you out here. I actually have a little favor to ask. Mm. It's about my mom. I want you to meet her. <laughs> I, I mean, not, not in a weird way. It's just that I promised to meet up with her, but I'm still kind of scared. If I see her, I might end up saying some really nasty things. What if we end up hurting each other even more? I'm not trying to make her feel bad. I haven't fully sorted out my feelings yet, but I do want to see her. I think. 
that's why I thought it'd be great if you could be there with me. <laughs> you don't have to say anything, really. It's just that I'd feel more confident having you around. And with you by my side, I think I could treat my mom with a little more kindness. So if it's not too much trouble, what do you think? <laughs> You'll do it? Thank you. Okay, I'll call her up right away. I've been putting this off for so long. Sorry to wrap you up in my family situation. Hey, um, you must be thinking your life would be easier if I didn't have so many problems. What, are you saying you actually like my problems? Hey, don't worry about it. I was just joking, okay? Jeez. You know, it's almost spring break. It all went by so fast. We're gonna be 30 years soon. And after that, we'll graduate and go to college and then become working adults, I guess. Wow, it's hard to imagine. Do you think we'll still be together at that point? Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> Let's talk about the near future, then. Wanna go somewhere over spring break? Oh, how about Destiny Land? But just the two of us, okay? You better not invite anyone else. <sighs> like, if we stay the night and stuff. <sighs> I wonder if anyone at the dorms would notice if the two of us disappeared for a night. <sighs> That's an embarrassing thought. <sighs> we can talk more about it later. Don't forget to save some time during spring break, okay? Have a bite at Hagakure? I haven't had their special in a while. We hold up! I ain't made out of money. I'm just a poor, broke high school kid here. Come on, man. We're buds, right? We even bonded while playing catch and everything, right? I uh, guess we never actually got around to that, huh? Well, anyways, hear me out for a bit. I got called into Miss Toriyumi's office again. She asked me what I was planning to do after April. Dude, like I know. And I was trying to play it off, but then she got all worked up and gave me one hell of a lecture. It's just me? Or she gotten way more serious than before? Tomochika was saying that you can't even bribe her with cake anymore. Oh, hey, did you hear from Tomochika about the new teachers coming in April? Apparently they're all women. You have no idea how stoked he was. Honestly, I was getting major secondhand embarrassment. Well, none of that really matters to me. I already got a special some... Huh? Uh, I did have a special someone, right? Uh, I, I'm not making this up or anything. I want to tell such a pathetic lie to try and look cool. I just thought that, that there was someone special in my life. Have I forgotten something important? Something I never should have forgotten? Uh, sorry, man. I, I think I'll pass on the ramen, actually. Quite rare for us to bump into each other here, isn't it? I guess it's because I usually go straight to practice after class. But today, I felt like looking around the school before heading over. After all, this is my last day here. The days flew by in the blink of an eye. But at the same time, it felt like this year would last for an eternity. <laughs> I've dedicated all three years of high school to boxing, and nothing else. Hmm. Was there... Really nothing else? It, never mind. It's nothing. I guess hanging out with everyone at the dorm counts as something. We even made pancakes together. 
We had some good times. If we hadn't lived in the same dorm, we might have never met each other. It's hard to imagine. <laughs> I'll be leaving the dorm soon. But that doesn't change the fact that I'll always be your senpai. If you ever run into trouble, you can tag me in. Whatever happens, I'm on your side. Do you remember Shinji? Ah, uh, I mean Naragaki. <laughs> Shinji was supposed to graduate with me. I still can't believe that he was dragged into that incident. Oh, Senpai, I'm glad I found you. It was kind of nerve-wracking to come to the high school campus all by myself. Anyway, I'm here to drop off something Sonata-san forgot. He's usually so put together, but sometimes you can be just a little scatterbrained. Oh, speaking of forgetfulness, do you remember someone named Aragaki-san? He was at the dorm for a little while. I didn't really talk with him all that much. But whenever he crosses my mind, I feel this ache in my chest and unbearably sad. It's as if I've forgotten something important, though I'm not sure what. I get the feeling that there was something I had to do. I just don't know what it is or why I feel this way. Oh, um, <laughs> sorry about that. You're really easy to talk to, so I kept going on and on. I appreciate that you always listen to what I have to say, though, Senpai. You even went with me to buy tea, and you don't treat me like I'm just a little kid. So, um, thanks for everything. I'm still just a kid, aren't I? I wish there was a way for me to grow up more quickly. No matter how grown up I try to act, people still end up protecting me. There's always someone sheltering me. I wonder if I'll ever be strong enough to protect someone else instead. Coming up next, a special report on the Amazing Commodities Corporation, producer of Tanaka's Amazing Commodities. President Tanaka has made an undisclosed private expenditure that caused quite a stir in the media. With us is our reporter live on scene. Take it away. I'm reporting from the Amazing Commodities head office where a swarm of journalists has convened. Word has it that President Tanaka will be coming out shortly to make a statement. The tension in the air is thick. Thank you. We'll be looking forward to updates as things unfold. Back to the studio. The unaccounted for expenditure has sparked a massive investigation. Some theorize he is guilty of tax evasion. Oh, no question. This is President Tanaka we're talking about. All he cares about is lining his own pockets, and he does it by swindling his own viewers. He could become the richest man on the planet and still never be satisfied. Why doesn't he donate some of that money for a change? Damn Scrooge. W well, I'm sure he's not as bad as all that. Oh, this just in. Something's happened at the scene. President Tanaka has emerged. <laughs> he's carrying a microphone. It, it looks like he's about to sing. Ready to go in your TV. Tanaka's commodities. Everybody's ultimate friend in greed. Hi, everyone. Amazing Commodities is here for you year-round. Rain or shine, we have a monopoly on the cheapest, highest quality goods. Our customers shout for joy so loud it's considered noise pollution. Our stocks rise so high they're a hazard to birds. 
and we make losers every day out of people who don't buy. We're the only miracle left in this sad, desolate world. That's the amazing commodities guarantee. We look forward to your business. Oh, he he's gone. What the hell are you doing? You call yourself a reporter? If you can't get one lousy comment out of him, you're just giving him free advertising. We'll have to interrupt you there, as we've just received a fax. It... it's from President Tanaka. The message reads... Hi, this is Tanaka, the best friend your pocketbook ever had. And what's in my pocketbook is my own business. It's not my company's money, so what's it to them how I use it? But let me make one thing clear. I am not ashamed of a single thing. My conscience is clear, dear viewers. So buy my products, guilt-free. Amazing commodities, here for you year-round, rain or shine. Buy now, or you'll miss your chance. You'll see. Bye bye Apparently, he had no intention of revealing his use for the funds. Does he have no shame? Oh, this Tanaka guy. Just because he's made some money for himself doesn't mean that we're his little playthings. On behalf of the people, I have something to say, and I am not afraid to say it. Fat pigs like him who gorge themselves on the excesses of capitalism should be... Yes, thank you very much. This concludes our special report. With no clues as to the utilization of said funds, we can only hope that they went to humanitarian purposes. Next up, your daily glimpse into the stock market. This just in. We have reports that Amazing Commodities stocks have suddenly skyrocketed. There's Sonata Senpai, Kirijo Senpai, and and that one student who passed away last year in an incident. Uh, Aragaki Senpai. It's me, I guess. May I please come in? Thank goodness. I'm so happy to see you again. I'm sorry to show up so suddenly, but I really needed to talk to you. I... Remember everything. It seems like everyone else has forgotten. But I remember. That day we...
I'm sorry. It's just that when I remembered, I was afraid you might go somewhere far away, like you did during the last battle. Today is graduation day, isn't it? I'm sorry. The ceremony's already begun. The weather is so nice outside. Do you remember where we all promised to meet? Why don't we go ahead and wait for the others? We can enjoy the peaceful view of the city. The time to part has finally come. Though this is our last day together, we want the third year class to know that we're truly proud of you. We wish each of you good health, happiness, and success. On this momentous occasion, I bid you all a fond farewell on behalf of the student body. Next, a word from the valedictorian. From Class D, Mitsuru Kirijo-san. Thank you. This past year, I accepted an important responsibility as Student Council President. When I first addressed you from this podium, I spoke to you all about seizing opportunity while you had the chance. It must have been fate that intervened and gave me an important reminder of this. As many of you know, my father unexpectedly... He unexpectedly passed away due to sudden illness. Sudden illness? Wow, that's rare. I've never heard her stumble in a speech before. It's a big day. It must be tough to talk about her father. I remember now. That's right. After my father died. There was a time I lost motivation to live my life. Am I forgetting something? It's not a senpai. What are you doing? Guru Maru! But no longer. I shall honor my father's will. I won't run from the future. I'll face it head on. Not a single doubt remains in my mind. And the reason. I promise. Mitsuru. That's right! It's because I have forged such wonderful friendships. And we swore that we would never lose hope, no matter what the future may bring. Senpai! We remembered him, and I guess. Yes, I did as well. Let's go. They're waiting. Noticing the beauty of spring, it's wonderful. And yet, without exception, each and every season will come to an end. We fought side by side. We faced the world's end. And now, I'm finally beginning to understand what it was I'd been searching for. I always wondered what it really meant to live. Now I think it's following your heart, fighting for what you can change, and accepting the things you can't. 
Nothing on this earth lasts forever. Every life will one day fizzle out. That holds true for all of us, and as soon as you come to terms with it, you realize something. You see what really matters, and find out what it is that gives your life meaning. When I learned that I wasn't strong enough, I was tormented by it. Now I understand why. Protecting others is the duty I was given, but to me, it was more than an obligation. At some point, it became something I wanted to do for myself. Once I decided to try and prevent the fall, something inside me clicked. When I thought about how I might never see you again, that's when I first understood what mattered to me the most. And so, I made up my mind. What I want is to protect you from now until the end of time. I want to stay by your side. And I know, I'm not the only one out there who could do this. But still, I want to. Because I'm positive. If I do it for you, then nothing's a waste. My life will have meaning. So, thank you. to me. It's good. I finally found a reason to live. So why am I... meaning. As for me, I found my path. And that's to protect you with my life. Thank you so much for everything. Must be tired. Go ahead and rest now. I'll be right here. I won't be going anywhere. In a moment, the others will be joining us.